Good morning students. Today we are going to start a very interesting poem by Lewis Brand Phillips which is Meadow Surprises. So Meadow is a kind of small grassy land and poet Lewis Brand Phillips has found out certain surprises in the poem in the meadows which he expressed in this poem. So we will start with this poem today. Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. So this place meadows, the poet claims, are full of surprises and only you can find them if you walk softly through the grass which is like a velvet. Now velvet you know is a kind of cloth which is very smooth. So it, the grass is compared to like a velvet and listen by the brook. So brook is a small flow of water. So if you listen by the brook, if you walk softly through the grasses, you will discover the surprises. Now what are the surprises? Is there any surprises that will be uh, that will be enchanted by us? Let's see the next pattern. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straw to sip the nectar up. Butterfly we all know, they fly often in various places. So uh, here also some uh, butterflies are uh, moving around the flowers. But the poet Louis Brand Phillips claims that in the meadows what you will see, you will see a butterfly who is resting upon a buttercup flower. Buttercup is a kind of flower. What, why is resting? Is the butterfly resting or is the butterfly doing something? So the butterfly is definitely doing something. And what the butterfly is doing? The butterfly is unfolding its drinking straws to sip its nectar up. So to, in order to sip the nectar of the flower, the butterfl uh, butterfly is actually sipping the nectar. So this is the job of the butterfly that is doing. So you need a very keen eye to observe a butterfly sipping the nectar up. And this is one of the surprises that the poet founds. So what the poet is actually doing is poet is making us look into the meadows through our own eyes which we perhaps don't see, which we perhaps don't take care. Another surprise is in the third para. You may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still though at first you may not see him. When he hops, you will. A dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned into yari parachutes that flutter when you blow. These are two glimpses, another two glimpses. And what are these? This is a rabbit. Now rabbits are, uh, rabbits don't sit actually. Okay, you cannot catch a rabbit. But in the meadows, strangely, you can, you can uh, see a rabbit who is sitting very still. Perhaps he is also enchanted by the uh, beauty of the nature but as mother nature has made him sit quietly so here you will see, uh, see a rabbit who is sitting very still but if you see that the first side effort though at the first you may not see him so at first you won't realize whether the rabbit is sitting very still or not when you will see when the rabbit starts jumping, then only you can see the rabbit. So when he hops, you will. So you will see the rabbit until and unless rabbit jumps. So this is another strange surprise which we never think of perhaps. So we need we need a very keen eye actually in order to see that. A dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned into airy parachutes that flutter when you blow. Dandelion is another kind of flower. A yellowish type of flower. Okay. Its uh, head was <coughs> golden days ago. Now what has it turned? It turned into airy parachutes means if you blow the dandelion flowers which the poet literally did. Louis Brand Phillips blew the flower and what that flower turned? That flower, petals of the flowers were flowing into the air.
Now the petals of the flowers, this image that the petals of the flower of dandelion is flowing into the air. This image of poet has tried to say that a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned into airy parachutes that flutter when you blow. So, the uh, poet has blown the dandelion and that is actually fluttering into the air when you are blowing that. So, a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow. So, it is flowing. When you are blowing the leaf, uh, flower of the dandelion, it is flowing. So, this is a strange sight that the poet sees. Another image is Explore the meadows houses the burrows in the ground, a nest beneath tall grasses, the ants amazing mount. There is another thing which the poet also says to explore, that is the meadow houses, which we perhaps never see. We perhaps never see the meadow houses. Now, what type of meadow houses are there? Within a gra grassy field, is there any houses, really? We won't see that. But, somebody else will and this is Louis Brand Phillips the poet he will definitely see that so he will explore the meadow houses he actually explored the meadow houses and he found that the burrows are in the ground perhaps the burrows are for the uh, anim animals like rabbit there is a nest beneath the tall grasses some bird has made a nest and there is a strange mound of the ant so ants amazing mound is there so these are the things that the poet sees in the that the poet actually sees in the meadows a normal person won't see that the, but the poet will so the poet is exploring the meadow houses the burrows in the ground a nest beneath the tall grasses the ants amazing mound so these are the things that the poet is exploring oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover did yourself if you look and listen well so the meadows are full of surprises there are many things which one can tell louis brand phillips explored these things what did he explore louis brand phillips explored the flowing of the brook, explored the uh, essence of the soft velvet grass, seen what the butterfly is doing who is sipping the nectar up from its straw, seen the rabbit who was sitting very still, one can see until and unless the rabbit hop, one cannot see the rabbit, also seen the dandelion uh, flower whose uh, fuzzy head was golden days ago. So these are the things that the poet sees. So these are the surprises that the meadows have to offer and there are many things to tell. So one can discover this by oneself if somebody takes interest. If you look and listen well then only you can see the meadows. So this is what the poet ultimately says. So if you look into the meadows, if you listen well to the meadows then only you can discover the meadow surprises or else you cannot. So, this is the poem Meadow Surprises, a very interesting and very nature oriented poem. The poet has approached all of us to be associated with the nature. Okay. So, this is all the poem, what the poem talks about. Now, what we will do is, uh, we will quickly move on to the question answers. Yes. Yes. <coughs> so these question answers are already there in the Google Classroom. So you once look into the Google Classroom and check it. So first comes the summary. So the meadow offers several surprises to one who has an eager eye to look at the meadow. Walking on the soft velvety grass, the sound of the brook, a butterfly sipping nectar from the flowers, all such sights have immense give immense pleasure. <coughs> 
These sights are no less than the nature's surprise gift. Walking further on, one may find a rabbit hidden in the grass. One may not be able to see it instantly, but soon it would hop in front of you because it would be scared. A dandelion that has golden, uh, that was a golden a couple of days ago would also have bloomed. One could find several houses in the meadows. There would be burrows in the ground, nets beneath the tall grasses, mounds for ant and so on. For every person, there would be some or other surprise. So this is what the meadow surprise summary is all about. There are a few word meanings uh, which I have also given. First is and phrases. First is velvet grass. This phrase means smooth, even grass. Brook means a small stream. Buttercup means a yellow flower. Nectar means the juice of the flower. Hops means jumps. Dandelion means a plant with yellow flowers. Here the poet is referring to the flowers. Fuzzy means lacking clarity. Flutter means to move with quick wavering motion. Burrows means a hole made by an animal. Mound means a small hill made by ants. Okay. I already explained this while explaining the poem. So, NCRT questions are there. And also given extra questions. So, read the lines. This NCRT questions occurs in page number 124 of your book. So, read the lines in the... Uh, in which the following phrases occurred, then discuss with your partner the meanings of each phrase in the context. So, first is velvet grass, second is drinking straw, third is meadow houses, fourth is amazing mound, fifth is fuzzy head. So, velvet grass means soft grass that almost feels like fur or velvet. Drinking straw means that it appears that is if butterflies are sipping the nectar from the flowers with the straws. Meadow houses are a reference to several houses which inhabit the insects, birds and animals that live in the meadow such as burrows, nests and mounds. The amazing mound is a reference to the mound created by the ants as their dwelling place. Fuzzy head refers to the heads of the bright yellow flowers which have a beautiful texture. Next question is, which line in the poem suggests that you need a keen and sharp eye to enjoy the meadow? Read aloud the stanza that contains this line. So the line is, you may discover this yourself if you look and listen well. This exactly occurs at the last stanza of the poem. So, the three and four questions such as find pictures of these kinds of birds and watch a tree or plants. I have not included this because these are not uh, interest, these are not needed actually for the exams. So, the extra questions are what kind of surprise could be found while walking on the grass? So, walking on the velvety soft grass one derives immense pleasure. So, this is the surprise uh, you could be found while walking on the grass. Why is one unable to see a rabbit initially? So, one is unable to spot a rabbit in the grass because it is sitting very still. Only when it hops, one is able to see it. What is the butterfly busy doing? So, butterfly seems to be busy in sucking nectar from the flowers. It appears as if butterfly uses a straw to do so. So, which uh, all the houses are characteristic by the term meadow houses. So, burrows in the ground meant for smaller animals, nests beneath the tall grasses for birds and mounds for ants are the various houses that are characterized by the term meadow houses. While exploring the meadows, one can see them. So, describe the various sites that one come across in the meadows. So, in the meadows, one come across various beautiful sites. One is able to see butterflies sipping nectar from the flowers. One encounters a rabbit that suddenly hops in front of you. One is able to see dandelions transform from birds to flowers and seek the pleasure of seeing them flutter. Only in the meadows it is possible to see burrows, mound, nest all placed nearly in the same area. The feeling of walking through the soft velvet grass can only be understood by those who have been to the meadows. So what turns into airy, airy parachutes? Petals of dandelion flower turn into airy parachutes. So these are the, some extra questions which are not in the book apart from the NCRT questions. So, prepare them uh, at home by yourself and read the poem once again and <coughs> listen to this lecture. I believe meter surprises will be easier for you. So, your job is to write all these notes in the English literature copy. Okay, students? Okay. So, this was all about the meter surprises that I needed to discuss with you. Thank you. The class is over now.